Everyone wants to be more attractive facially. And there are specific products catered towards this, especially jaw enhancement exercising. There are some ridiculous devices that look like some dominatrix tied you up and put an orange ball in your mouth. And the more reasonable stuff is a chewing gum. And one company triggered me to make this video. Gum of Gods is selling mastic gum under the marketing that you will develop a more attractive jawline. Gum of Gods, I got an idea. Why don't you come suck the gum out of my long Maybe you'll get some more of my ideas because I've been talking about this for years and have never had success selling the same exact product at half the price and I've mentioned that purpose of improving your jaw. There was no one else talking about using Masticum for this. Same thing happened with the water kefir when I started selling it. 30 businesses selling it on Amazon the next day. Suckers continuing to steal my business ideas. Classic examples of the parasitical elite using their control of social media platforms to go viral, keeping profits out of honest individuals. I spoke about Amazon a few weeks ago, same selfish bullshit, and I won't be naming them because last time I was banned for a week on YouTube. That being said, I am a new man. And instead of talking about how the owners of Gum of Gods deserve to be pummeled into a ditch, I'm gonna channel some positive energy and explain to you why that product isn't a good idea and how to fix your face. And what I mean by that is, you know, our lack of facial development is attributed to nutrition during early stages of life, prenatal, pregnancy, things out of your control. The problem with any of these chewing devices is you're only developing the lower part of your face, jaw muscles, not the upper muscles or tongue. And the tongue is a very large muscle that goes far back down your throat. The reason I didn't specifically advertise Masticum for this is because it will result in severe facial imbalance and even worse things if you continue to do it. TMJ, underbite, and tension headaches. Just chew gum for 20-30 minutes and you'll notice your lower jaw starts to protrude forward if the gum is hard enough. The difference between mastic gum and regular gum is it's very hard to chew. So gum of gods and anyone selling similar devices or gums are not only misleading people, they're overcharging it. You know, I have the same exact Mastic product on organsupplements.com for half the price. So if you do wanna try it out, I don't recommend chewing it for a long period of time for this purpose. I sell it as a digestive aid, anti-H pylori. So we've started off with the mechanical part, the chewing, jaw, muscles, tongue, what you're physically doing to correct your face. And the most important part about that is a correct tongue posture, which was popularized with mewing. John and Mike Mew, Mew is their last name, so they called this mewing, are a father and son orthodontic duo, and they actually call what they do orthotropics because it's different than traditional orthodontics. They use specific devices to correct a child's facial posture. And they're correct on some recommendations, specifically this tongue posture, but in children, that initial facial structure will come naturally with a correct diet. So what they do with certain palate expanders and devices is more of a band-aid, because think about it. If your lower face develops a certain way, you can't really fix your upper face in the same way that you do your teeth. You'd have to somehow stretch the skull and do all sorts of crazy stuff. It's basically impossible. So I mentioned nutrition a little earlier. Keep that in mind. The only reason I even have to talk about this is because the majority of the population hasn't had proper nutrition for hard and soft tissue development, bone and flesh. Therefore, your teeth, tongue, muscles don't end up in the correct spots, ultimately resulting in facial imbalances, aka ugly faces. And there is a high percentage of people watching this that when I go to explain how to do this, you're gonna be like, oh, I already do that because it occurs naturally in proper development. So mewing is pretty simple. All you're really doing is pressing your tongue against the roof of your mouth, finding a position and a certain amount of pressure for the natural closure of your jaw, but it may not work if your teeth and jaw is messed up, it's, if it's not aligned properly. So there's two ways to close your jaw if it's open. One way is to clench it using your jaw muscles, the other way is if you press, almost suction your tongue against the roof of your mouth, your mouth will close and teeth will meet in the most natural way. The tongue also supports the roof of your mouth and that upper facial tissue development. 
And again, you might not be able to do this if your teeth don't meet naturally. I had jaw surgery, which I'll touch on later. The way John Mew, the older father, explains this is to say N, and when you say N, when you say like an N, N, the tongue goes against the roof of your mouth. And then if you can kind of like suction it with it, like suck the air outside of the area between the roof of your mouth and your tongue, that should do it. So, so you guys can try this with me if you'd like to. You relax your mouth and then you can clench it shut with your jaw muscles or do the tongue thing. So, and that, I did not use my jaw muscles for that at all. I relaxed my mouth and I suctioned my tongue against the roof of my mouth. If you do it properly, your mouth will close naturally. If it doesn't, then the tongue might not be in the correct position. There might not be enough pressure, but it's very, very easy and simple to figure out. And any variance in what's the correct facial posture results in specific deformities. I'm sure most of you are familiar with mouth breathers having receding chins. You know, it's far back, a very weak lower face. That's an overbite. An underbite is not as common. It's basically the same posture as a mouth breather, but instead of breathing through their mouth, they breathe through their nose. The point is that the tongue is resting on the lower part of their jaw where it shouldn't be and the other tongue and facial muscles are not being activated. And that relates back to the nutritional reason. If you don't get those nutrients as a child to develop your dental arches, your mouth, everything properly, it's not gonna rest in its natural position, your sleep gets messed up, you have ultimately an ugly face. Now, if your teeth are crooked, if your jaw is misaligned, you're not gonna be able to do that. And since we don't have a time machine to go back and breastfeed ourselves and give ourselves proper nutrition as a child, you kind of have to resort to surgical means. And you can only fix so much cosmetically. Anything above the nose area is more subjective, like plastic surgery kind of, trying to replicate what is conventionally attractive. But below the nose, the jaw and the teeth, it's more regimented orthodontically. So it's a bit more comfortable for me to recommend that to people. Number one is that orthodontic correction of your bite. Number two is to maintain the proper facial structure after surgery. And number three is to consume certain nutrients, mainly vitamin K2, MK4, and magnesium so that the bones and the soft tissue can form properly. So the latter two are pretty self-explanatory, but to correct your bite, you're gonna have to find an orthodontist, get braces, and ultimately have jaw surgery. And from what I've seen, Every single person needs it to some degree, it's just in various amounts. And the reason you need to correct your bite is so that your teeth and jaws meet together nearly perfectly to have the correct tongue oral posture. Some might need a slight move, others more drastic. You know, I had braces for two years, underwent double jaw surgery, and then I had braces for another year. My orthodontist said that I was one of the best cases because most people revert back to their original facial posture. They don't change their habits and they end up with how their jaw was before the surgery. But I was mindful to research on my own, figure out mewing. And I remember right after I had the jaw surgery, my bite felt so uncomfortable. It looked good, it looked exactly like this. You know, way better than before because I had a pretty bad underbite. But after doing the correct facial posture for even a couple months, it felt much more comfortable. And you guys might notice, like sometimes I slur my words. I never did that before the jaw surgery. You know, so there are some downsides. You are changing your face in an unnatural way, but ultimately I ended up a lot happier and I look a lot better. And you know, that's a lot more work than selling someone $25 worth of mastic gum. My experience with that, you know, yeah, it gave me the jaw hypertrophy, but I had such bad tension headaches just from chewing the gum. And as I said, after chewing that masticum for 20, 30 minutes, my underbite started coming back. And there are so many stories online you can look of people using chewing gum and they completely mess up their bite, their face, they get puffy and it doesn't go away. So, you know, don't listen to these cocksuckers, okay? I guess that's it for today. You guys like my drawing? <laughs> All right, so you can go to organsupplements.com. We have the master gum if you want to try that out. Not for chewing, for stomach health. However, we do have vitamin K2, D3, magnesium, some other nutrients that are very important for facial development. I have to start taking K2 
K2 more myself. And I mean, you guys have said, commented on my video, like, hey, Frank, your face looks different. That's probably the K2 because I never really had enough when I was a kid or developing, and it really does change how you look. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so that YouTube does not notify you of my videos. If you guys want to see how pissed off I was yesterday, go on my Instagram story and you can see the TikToks I posted. I was, I was saying every curse word from A to Z. So thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.